Frankie B, Frankie B, technology tutorial. Frankie B, Frankie B, technology tutorial. Hi, I'm Frankie B, and this video is about how to dual boot your computer. To have two operating systems running on your computer, Windows 10 and Windows 7, and you can switch between the two operating systems. A lot of people like Windows 7 and would still like to keep it, but there are some applications that don't run on Windows 10, but runs on Windows 7, so you could switch between the two which one you boot up. This video is about how to dual boot your computer with two operating systems and one hard drive. But you could have two separate hard drives and do the exact same thing. But in this case, we'll be using one hard drive. So without further ado, let's do it. Now, first things first. And the first thing you need to do is take a look at your hard drive. If your hard drive has one partition, we'll need to split the drive into two partitions. This computer is running Windows 10, so we're going to split the drive and install Windows 7. But the operation is the exact same way if you were running Windows 7 and wanted to install Windows 10. So what we're going to do is to right click on the start menu and select disk management. Then in this box you'll see your hard drive. Right click on the hard drive and select shrink volume. Then the amount you want to shrink it by. In this case we'll shrink it by approximately equal amount. So we'll select the first number and just half that and then click shrink. And now you'll see the disk is divided into two parts and it's got an unallocated space here. So right click and create a new simple value. Then add the volume wizard box click next and now you can choose a drive letter or leave the one that's chosen for you and click next file system NTFC and we're going to label the new volume Windows 7 and choose to perform a quick format then click next and on this next box completing the wizard, click finish. And now you can see the C drive has got Windows 10 installed on it. And a new drive, and a new drive, we're going to install Windows 7. Setting the BIOS. Now, to do this, you'll need to go into the BIOS. And you'll need to know how to get into your BIOS. On most computers, it's either by F2 or the delete key on your keyboard. And you would press and hold that down at startup. Now, in the BIOS, you set your first boot option to wherever you're booting from. In our case, it's the CD-ROM drive. So, select your boot option by using your arrow keys on your keyboard. Or in some cases, it might be F5 and F6 key to move up and down on your keyboard. Then select your boot option. Now choose Exit and then OK to save and exit. Or you could press F10 and your computer will restart. And boot up from your CD-ROM drive. And on startup, you press any key on your keyboard to boot from your CD-ROM drive. And then, at boot up, you choose your language. 
your time and currency format and your keyboard language which is UK then click next then click on install now and now setup is starting next thing we need to do is to accept the terms and conditions and then click next now this is where you get to choose whether to upgrade or custom advanced type installation and we're going to choose custom install and now we get to choose where to install our Windows 7 operating system and we're going to select for Windows 7 partition and click next and now the files are going to be copied and installed on our hard drive. This will take a bit of time. Now what it's doing now is copying the Windows files, expanding Windows files, installing features, installing updates and then completion. And your computer will restart several times. And then the final restart, you will get a countdown of 10 seconds. Count to restart. And when installation is finished, Windows will start up. Starting Windows. Setup is preparing your computer for first use. And now it's done. Type in your username and your computer name and click next. Then your password, retype your password and password hint to remember your password and then click next. Now your product key. You'll choose to auto activate online and click next. And here you'll choose to use the recommended settings. Then set your time and date and then click next. And now you can join a wireless network if you wish. But we'll skip this bit for now. And now Windows will finalize your setup. And now to your welcome screen, preparing your desktop. On your desktop, welcome Windows 7. And now you can adjust your settings to your taste, your screen, your desktop, etc. And there you have it all done for you. Thank you very much. Well, that's about wraps it up for this video. So if you like this video and it helped you, don't forget to hit the like button down below. Leave a like, subscribe, comment and share this video if you'd like to see more videos like these. Thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you on the next one. Ciao for now. Frankie B. Thank you very much.